Want to translate videos fast without hiring a team or breaking the bank? Watch this one tutorial and you'll never need another. In this video, I'll walk you through a complete tutorial guide on how to translate and dub your videos with Vozo, from auto transcription, translation, and proofreading, to dubbing, lip sync, and auto-generated subtitles. We'll use an educational video about learning vaulting as an example, translating it from German to English. To get started, navigate to your dashboard and click on Translate and Dub. Simply drop your file or paste a link to upload. You've got three ways to transcribe the original audio. Let Vozo auto-transcribe it, upload your own subtitle file, or, if your video already has subtitles, let Vozo extract them directly from the video. Just pick what works best for you. Next, select your original and target languages. For videos with multiple speakers, set the speaker count manually to help Vozo distinguish voices accurately. Here's a tip. For more accurate and tailored translations, select your video's genre. Vozo will automatically apply context-specific prompts. You can also add or adjust background details, tone and style preferences to help Vozo understand the context better. For example, in this case, I'll include the following background info. There's an Add Subtitles to Video toggle here. You can turn it on now or enable it later after the translation is done. We'll cover more about this feature in a later section. Once you're set, hit Start Translation and Vozo will handle the rest. Just a quick note, Vozo supports batch uploads so you can upload multiple videos and set them up all at once. After the translation is complete, you'll see the results in the interface. Here you'll find speaker labels identifying who's speaking in the video and two main panels, original transcripts on the left and translations on the right. The preview window is located next to the translations panel. To watch a specific clip, click on the speech segment, original or translated, and it will play instantly. How awesome is that? You'll notice the translated video closely matches the original, in both voice and timing. Here's the timeline. The translated text is on top and the original below, making it easy to spot any misalignment due to differences in language length. And these different colors indicate different speakers, so you can easily track who's saying what. Now let's move on to the prep work. Reviewing the transcription. Start by renaming speaker labels. It's easier to follow and check transcription accuracy. If you spot a mistake, like a line assigned to the wrong person, this usually happens in more complex videos with many speakers. Just click the label to switch speakers. Then hit Update Dubbing to apply the changes right away. In some cases, if Vozo fails to recognize one of the speakers, click the speaker label, add the missing speaker, and hit Update Dubbing to apply. After checking the speaker labels, we can now review the original transcripts. And here are some tricks. You can split and merge the segment if needed. This helps keep the meaning complete and makes the dubbing sound more natural. To split a segment, click on the line and pinpoint the exact moment in the middle where you want to break it apart. And if you spot any errors in transcription, you can easily click on the segment and edit them directly, like you would in a doc, and retranslate accordingly. To merge, select two adjacent segments and pinpoint where they should be joined. And if needed, you can also add or delete a completely new segment. Once the original transcripts look good, it's time to move on to the next step. We'll focus on two key things. One, the accuracy of the translated text. Two, the quality and timing of the dubbing including how natural the cloned voice sounds and how well it matches the original pacing. As you know, different languages vary in length, which can affect the sync between audio and visuals. Let's start with the first one, translation accuracy. If there are any mistranslations, you can just click on the sentence and type in your corrections and click update dubbing and the changes will apply instantly. In addition to manual edits, you can also have the AI pilot help adjust the translations. Click the translation to activate the toolbar, select the adjustment type, or input a custom prompt. The AI pilot will modify the translations based on your instructions. For example, improve the translation style and tone, such as making it more formal or conversational. Align the translated text length with the original for a more authentic output. If you need to adjust the entire translation, click the AI pilot at the bottom right of the speech section, input your instructions, and the AI pilot will revise the entire translation accordingly. After making changes, remember to click Update Dubbing to generate the new audio. Here's a tip. In some cases, you may want to keep certain parts untranslated, like background music, crying, cheering, or screams. Mm -hmm. You can use the Revert to Original Audio option to preserve the original sound. Back mm -hmm. in the day. Once happy with the transcript, move on to the voice. 
Let's start with the cloned voice quality. Vozo's Voice Reel delivers authentic, lifelike voice cloning. But what if your video is emotionally complex, like when the same speaker expresses a wide range of strong emotions? That's where the reclone feature comes in. Select the segment, click Change Voice, then choose Reclone. You'll see all the lines spoken by this speaker. From there, select the ones that share the same emotional tone and hit Reclone. Don't forget to click Update Dubbing to apply the changes. Wow, that's crazy. For videos with intense or subtle emotional shifts, you can also use the Enhance Emotion feature. Just select the appropriate emotion tags to boost the emotional expressiveness of the voice. You can pick one or several depending on the tone you want. Wow, that's crazy! Wow, that's crazy! Wow, that's crazy! Wow, that's crazy! And if you're dealing with tricky brand or place names, no worries, just use the Edit Pronunciation feature. Type in similar sounding words and Vozo will say it exactly how you want. For example, it's a German word. Let's give it a try. Like how we used to play Berichi before. Sometimes in certain scenarios, like when you want to give the other person time to react, you can manually add pauses using the Add Pauses feature. Now, let's play it back one more time. So grab it like this, and like this, and then jump off from the front. Now, let's play it back one more time. Using the timeline we covered earlier, you can double check whether the translated video aligns with the original in terms of timing. If needed, you can drag the text blocks to fine tune the speed and pacing. Here's a quick hack. If you need to translate your video into multiple languages, this is the time to do it. By this stage, once you've double checked the transcriptions and dubbing, just click Add Languages in the top right corner and select all the additional languages you need. Vozo will handle the rest in one go. At this point, the video is nearly done. Let's add subtitles. Click Subtitles on the left panel, toggle the switch, and Vozo will automatically generate subtitles for both the original and translated versions. You can choose the style and customize the styles here. Finally, let's move on to Lip Sync. Click Lip Sync in the left panel. You'll see two options. Standard Mode gives you quick results for typical front-facing videos. Precision Mode is ideal for more complex videos. It enhances facial details such as beard, side profiles, and etc. It takes longer to process compared with Standard Mode. However, it's less suitable for videos with minimal or static mouth movement. In this case, we will use Precision Mode. While Lip Sync is processing, feel free to continue other tasks. It runs in the background and exiting the panel won't interrupt the process. Well, the result is ready now. Let's check it out. We use it to reduce strain on the real horses. Here's a tip. When there are multiple speakers or voiceovers, you can use the Add or Remove options to better align the audio with the correct face or character in the video. Once you're satisfied with the preview, just export and download. Finally, click Export in the top right corner to download your video, audio, or subtitles. There are plenty of export options, just choose what you need. Well, congrats! By the end of this video, you've learned exactly how to quickly create a high-quality translated video using Vozo. In this case, it only took 10 minutes from start to finish. Try Vozo AI today, links in the description. Click here to sign up, get free credits, and start translating videos right now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Got questions or something to discuss? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.